little gazelle. And my friend said, well, I'm in my 40s now and my egg quality is diminished and what I need is an egg donor. And I went, what the heck? I'll be yours, I'll be true, I'll lay lots of eggs for you. I get out in our rural community and I do this. Point. It may not be a bad thing if we have to slow down. Avast there. Are you already the mayor? Of Waitati? Yeah. Self-appointed cultural ambassador of everything, so absolutely I'm the mayor. <laughs> Lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> Waitati, Blueskin Bay, 15 minutes north of Otipote, Dunedin. We've got two parts of our community, Doctor's Point, which is swimming pools and movie stars. And then us swamp dwellers who live on the lowlands, the older batches. If she stood for Mayor of Dunedin, would you vote for her? Yeah, I think I'd have to. We've got a lot of activists and a lot of creatives in this community. There's definitely some one-upmanship happening on the street. Isn't that cute? I built this little letterbox. There appears to be three little pink fairies living in here at the moment. What are you guys doing? Sketch, get back inside. Shoot! So I grew up up there on the hill on 25 acres and as a teenager I couldn't wait to get away from here and then as soon as I was pregnant, hapu with my daughter, I couldn't think of anywhere else in the world where I wanted to be. When she came back in 2003, yeah, she really revived the community. We campaigned for 30 years to get this toilet. I put it to the community. I said, if you could choose one thing about the toilet, would you choose a red phone box door or a blue TARDIS Doctor Who? And everyone voted for the TARDIS door. But how did TARDIS turn to TARDIS? Poos! <laughs> and then the Waitati Militia decided we needed a headquarters and of course the TARDIS, that's where we do our business. This is us beating off the uh, corporate raiders. I think we like to have fun. You know, this isn't a dress rehearsal. We're only living one time, so use the best china. Chum buckets, says I, the pirate queen. I'm gonna pass the Oh yes, there's no other pirates on the council. No, not at all. I think traditionally the council is older, white men, business people. They definitely don't have the same lived experience as me. And I've challenged that with my colleagues and they'll say things like, oh, but Mandy, I care about people too. I make donations to the food bank. And I say, but have you ever had to go to the food bank yourself? So this is my house pirate produce, mainly producing pony poo at the moment. This is one of my games that I made. It's called Angry Neighbour. It's quite good after a hard day at the office. Is that your rooster? Shut that rowdy bird up. What is this? Oh, that's a, that's a trebuchet. Yeah, nice. It's good for launching projectiles. Oh, look, there's a bike up in the tree. Yeah, that was a terrible accident. E.T. trying to get home. <laughs> this is my little J1 um, Bedford school bus, and when I was working for Ridgeway's Family Circus, I lived in it for five years. Oh yes, I, I did run away and join the circus because my mate at the time, a clown, Titch, he was driving a truck uh, with Christmas in the park and fell asleep behind the wheel and drove into Lake Taupo. So he was your partner? Yes. But the circus was our dream, and then the circus came along, and I thought, well, what else have I got? I've lost all my dreams. This seems the most obvious thing that I should do is run away to the circus. I started out as a clown, but I became the ringmaster pretty much straight away. 
The oh, show up. used to start out with the crusty old cowboy cracking the whips and then he'd whip me and whip a cigarette out of my teeth and whip up the newspaper and then he'd throw knives at me around this target. That was my first husband. He was quite obsessed with me. Shredded a lot of my clothing up. Yeah, quite oh, possessive. Sorry. Oh, was he? Probably a dangerous animal. We were breaking the law for a long time. I'm always going to advocate for those people on the lower socio-economic groups. I know what it is to be a solo mother. I know what it is to be forced to take budgeting advice at um, the food bank. And so I'm very focused on the well-beings. Oh, it's second in command. Number one tea lady. Brownie, leader extraordinaire. Are, are you a conscript or a volunteer? Have I'm you? both, actually, I think. <laughs> in some situations, I'm a volunteer, and in others, I'm a conscript. There's only one Mandy Mayhem. She's always been a force of nature, I think. That's how I'd describe her. I think she would make a good mayor. Yeah, yeah. She has some um, pretty boundless energy for sort of community projects. Would she make a good mayor? Absolutely. Absolutely. This handsome hero is my husband, Lee Bullock. Uh, for 10 years, seven We've been married. together 10 years, seven married seven. seven. Are you, uh, what, how do we say this? <laughs> Does Mandy always got lots for you to do? Oh, there's always plenty to do. It's never a dull moment. I'm trying to figure out if you're under thumb or not, Lee. Have you got free will? Have you got free no, will? No, she's, she's, she's the supreme dictator. Benevolent. But, oh, benevolent, sorry. I don't benevolent. Think you can have I operate with love and care for people, manakitanga. That's our community embodies that, and I think that is what wellness and well-being is all about. She's a pirate queen. Yeah, yeah. the pirate queen. Really? Is it unusual? Not really for my mum, and not really for me. I'm going to be the 60th mayor of Dunedin, and do you know we've only had one female mayor in Dunedin? Look what Mandy does for White Teddy. Imagine what she could do for Dunedin. You for mayor? Yeah. You're going to be mayor? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? 